Welcome to the 69 News Netcast. I'm Haciel Cordoba. If you weren't watching 69 News at sunrise, here's a bit of what you missed. Officials with Lehigh Valley Health Network say the region's at a critical point in the pandemic. The network's infectious disease specialist says the number of patients admitted to its hospitals has doubled in the last 10 days. He wants people to take care of themselves and others as Thanksgiving is just two days away. St. Luke's has one of Pennsylvania's first outpatient centers for treating COVID-19 up and running. It's now open at the network's Easton campus, and it's using an experimental drug developed by Eli Lilly. St. Luke says another could be coming to its Warren campus in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. In Monroe County, two young adults and a juvenile have been arrested in connection with a deadly shooting. Police say 15-year-old Aiden Pays was fatally shot and a 17-year-old was hurt in Polk Township, Monroe County, Sunday night. Police say the shooting happened when a planned drug deal turned into a robbery. And in weather, it's Thanksgiving week and the forecast is giving plenty to be thankful for with some cool, mostly sunny days. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates at WFMZ.com. With the 69 News Netcast, I'm Haciel Cordoba.